Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be doing the second update to my Pan Fat palette for 2024. If you aren't aware, this year I selected my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. If you have missed my previous updates, please go watch them. Um, this video is going to be very confusing if you have not seen them. So we're going to hop straight in. Um, I have used the palette seven times in February or in the past month and as I discussed in my last video I think this was causing eye irritation. I was experiencing some eye irritation in December then I went out of town. I didn't bring this with me. It cleared up, came home, used this, immediately came back. Thought that was kind of weird. Then um, I was wearing it in January. Eye irritation wouldn't go away. Decided to test it in February, as I discussed in my last video, and um, took a break from it for like the first two, week and a half-ish of February. Valentine's Day, I pulled it out. Eye irritation immediately. Took another like 10, 11 days break. Let it clear up. It did miss Los Angeles. Tried it again right after. Immediately eye irritation. Like within 24 to 48 hours. So like after one or two uses, I get these red, flaky, raised irritated splotches all over especially my lid but like even up into my crease it's very uncomfortable it makes other eye makeup look terrible like it looks like I um it looks scaly and like ugh, it's just not cute and it was really frustrating and given that I have been able to replicate this three times of not use this palette irritation clears up use it, it comes back. And everything else I was using stayed pretty consistent. I think this is what's causing it. I, that hurts my heart so much. This is a beautiful palette. Um, I, I bought this, like I purchased this myself because I love the color story and because I love the shimmers in here. It, I, it sounds so silly, but I do feel really sad. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of it get rid of it right now at this exact moment I think I'm gonna sit with it for a little bit um I did someone commented in my last video so thank you everyone who commented suggestions to see if like to test certain shades to see if it was maybe like only one of the shades I was using um and I thought maybe the mattes would be okay but I still got irritation I did a look that used this shade and um, the shade, I think these two. And then the next day I used a, I did a look that used these two in the black and I got the irritation. So um, even if like the mattes aren't as bad as the shimmers, which kind of tend to cause instant, like that evening my eyes are starting to burn when I take it off, it still does cause the irritation. So I don't think this could continue to be my pan that palette because I don't think I can wear this every day. Um, I think I'm going to, yeah, just put it away. This makes me really sad. Um, and I am going to discontinue this as my pan that palette for 2024 and just kind of pick something else and maybe revisit this later in the year uh when I'm decluttering because I don't know getting rid of it just feels so sad and I know that sounds so ridiculous because like I don't want to wear it every day um and I don't really know how often I'll reach for it from now on but it's just I don't know like a lot of my other palettes are like gifts or something that someone else didn't want so then they gave to me but something that I like I babysat for like six hours to get this and so just knowing that I didn't even get to hit Pam on most of it and it's just kind of looking relatively untouched does make me sad. So that has fueled my decision making process. I went back, I rewatched my what should I pin in 2024 video. I read through the comments and I thought about it and I did consider my tart, um, tart lip uh, in bloom palette which was the second most voted on palette but that one has like seven five or yeah I think it has like seven out of 12 shades with pan on it so I was like you know what if this one went bad tomorrow and I couldn't use it anymore I'd be sad 
but I wouldn't be like heartbroken because I, or I wouldn't feel this sad because part of what makes me so sad about this Huda palette is that I didn't get to use it very much. So I decided to go for a palette that I know I love, um, is beautiful and is relatively untouched slash underutilized in my collection. So I went through, I looked and I have decided to make my new pan matte palette my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. So I considered basically all of the palettes in my collection, especially the ones that were in my What Should I Pan in 2024 video, and I decided to go for this one for a couple of reasons. One, it has a beautiful color story. It's majority matte, so I think matte shadows I have a little bit of an easier time hitting pan on. Um, it's very neutral, so I don't think I'm gonna have a hard time wearing it day to day. It does have a little bit of a mix of cool and warm tones, so I think I'll be happy with it throughout the year. Um, and I know I like the formula. I have been wearing it the past couple of days, and I don't have any eye irritation currently, so I don't think it'll cause any problems in that respect. And um, I really, honestly, I was, I got to a point where I was just deciding between these two palettes. And this one won over slightly just because I think that like of the color story, I'll, I'm, I'm less worried about getting sick of this color story than this color story. And it has more matte. So I am going to be moving forward. I took an intro video of this and my goal is the same as my goal on the Huda Beauty palette. I would like to hit pan in every shade. I don't know if that's going to be possible given the fact that I've been planning this for two months now. The shade Twig, I have 25-ish uses on it and I still have not hit pan in a pretty easy to use everyday shade. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit pan in every shade in this palette, but I'm going to try my best. And then, you know, hopefully at the end of the year, it's looking loved and I can continue to do this with my palettes. I've never been able to use up a palette completely. The people like um, Rebecca from Panning and Stuff and Alexandria, I'm forgetting her last name, um, but I will link them down below. Both of them can pan eyeshadows like nobody's business. I am deeply impressed. I am unfortunately not that person, um, but I am going to try my best. So I wore a look that had this rose pink shade in it the other day. I thought it turned out so pretty. Um, it was actually my pan those eyeshadows update um, in case you missed it. I think that was the one where I was wearing the shade all over the lid. And then as you may know, if you've been watching my pan those eyeshadows, my Cypress Umber is currently rolled in. I'm not going to roll it out. I'm just going to leave it in that project since A, I'm trying to hit pan on everything. Um, and like, why not? I also think this is going to be a hard shade to pan on. So I don't mind keeping it in that project, at least for the three month minimum. Um, so I would say my focus shades going in, I want to pick two to three focus shades every month. It's going to be Cypress Umber because it's in another project. And then I'm thinking um, glistening and then um, I'm just going to make things easy on myself and pick burnt orange. So like at the very least, I can do like a really easy look using these three shades together. I think all three will pair nicely with my pan those eyeshadow shades that I have rolled in currently and um, I can just kind of start off and hopefully see a dip form in these three. I will try to track uses, so that's glistening, um, burnt orange, and cypress umber. I'm not going to be able to track uses on individual shades. I tried doing that with my Huda Beauty palette and it did not work very well. I just, I forget. Um, but I will obviously be tracking uses on cypress umber. And I will just track the number of times I reach for this palette as a whole between now and the this next update. So maybe if we have like number of looks where I used at least one shade from this palette, I think that'll be good. Today I just used Cypress Umber and a little bit of Tempura. Um, and then, yeah, I'm excited to go forward with this palette. So that is everything that I have for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today for your patience while I 
figure out a new way to move through this project. I do really like doing Pando's palettes. I think it makes it really easy for me to pick what to wear in the morning when I've got just like a quick, like I need to get ready really fast. Having a palette that I know I can reach for and like work towards a goal on is really helpful. And I just think it's fun to see the progress over the year. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really sad that my previous pan that palette isn't going to work out, but I'm excited to pan ABH Soft Glam. That is everything. I hope you are having an incredible, awesome day wherever you are and that I get to see you in a future video. Thanks guys.